All right, we're here at the uh, Tommy Max Bar on the Horse's Mouth on CW17 with some good friends of mine. Sean Rutcherson, who, uh, who joined me on the Horse's Mouth uh, this past week, he, uh, he joins me once again at the bar. He's the head coach of the Jacksonville Axemen, your rugby league team, your champion here in Jacksonville. Sean, great to see you again, buddy. Thanks for having us, Mike. Appreciate it. it. Who would you bring? I mean, you got your, you got your group here, right? You got your, uh, is this your protection as you walk the streets in Jacksonville? What do we, what do we got yeah, going well, on here? I'm not sure how much protection they'd give me. I wouldn't trust them with that. But, yes, these yeah. are our experienced <laughs> players from, uh, from Australia. Okay. And... Um, this is uh, Lachlan Bristow, he's our hooker, he'd be like, uh, his position is called hooker, but uh, he's kind of like our quarterback, right? Okay. He kind of helps he's direct running the our show. play. Yep. We've got oh, Jaden, sure agree. Yeah, we've got yep. Jaden Lang, he's okay. up front row, he's one of our big boys, do all the hard Can't yards tell. in the middle, <laughs> plenty of contact and usually not the prettiest people. He, he doesn't like him here, <laughs> does he? Can't stand yeah, yeah, the yeah, contact. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then we've got uh, Montana Northcroft, he's like our, our quarterback as well, he sort of directs the play, they're okay. usually the pretty boys. Yep. And yep. uh, with the hairstyle and all that. The big meat head out the back. And then we've got big Jed down the back there, <laughs> and he's another brains. bloke in the middle. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. They're not known for all. their brains. Right? you got to have them all. you got to. Right? you got to have a good mixture in our game. Big to small, fast, and all that sort of stuff. Yep. So now, do you... Do you recruit these guys? Like, how did how did you get the the three three year from uh, Australia and one from yeah. New Zealand, right? So, how did you? And I know you're from Australia, but how did, did you recruit them to come over here to play in Jacksonville? How does that how did that go down? Well, Jed, you got in contact with me, didn't you? So a lot of a lot of the word, a lot of the guys in Australia, especially from the Canberra competition where I played. Okay. Um, they know about the American comp, and and they and we've had players in the past come over from there, so they yeah, yeah, um, so they know and. They'll get an email, they'll send an email and I'll get in contact and we'll start chatting and Jed put me on to Lachlan and then we'll just happen to, just happen to luck out and have, um, I had someone pull out of me. Okay. Montana was at UNF. Oh, nice. Yeah. Right. The word got around, we needed a, a half or we just lucked out with him and then um, Jaden's been playing up north, he's got a, a scholarship at, uh, where's it at, Davenport. Davenport. Okay. To cool. play rugby union, which okay. is the right. other different. code. Yeah, that's, and, right. Um, that's right. And he said he was uh, interested in coming down, and he's brought another big mate down with him. So, okay. yeah, that's how we get in contact. So, what, would you guys play here for the summer and then go to your schools when you're done? Is that what, uh, that what happens? Yep. Yeah. You ask him about an exchange and get him back home after them. So. Okay. How do you guys like it? How do you like Jacksonville? Yeah, love it. It's good. Love it. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you like the beach at all? Yeah. That accent doesn't work out there at all, does it, for the ladies? Nah, no, they can't nah. stand it, can they? Nah. Yeah. So you, I, I can tell, uh, <laughs> I can tell Sean he's all business, man. What's uh, what's Sean like as your coach? Yeah, no, nah, he's good. He's yeah. all right, straight to the point, which is what you want in a coach, and um, he gets the best out of the boys, especially yeah. the American boys. Like they definitely look up to him and sort of, of course, you know, yeah. they listen to everything he says, which is. Yep. What more can you ask from your Why isn't sort of your nose uh, crooked like the rest of them? You got a nice straight nose. Yeah, I know. I'm pretty You've never smart. been smashed? Yeah, just nah. <laughs> yeah, just duck and move. Yeah, try wow. to. Yeah, because yeah, I've known Spinner a long spin. time. This is like an S. I mean, yeah, he's got it all over the damn place. I love him. I love you, Spinner, but that nose, holy cow, you smash <laughs> with a sledgehammer three different ways. But It's pretty funny yeah. when uh, Brian McDermott was in town there, the, the, yeah. the, the, when he was the uh, U.S. coach, and his nose is smashed all over his face. Mine is at the straightest, and then Spinner's. He's all busted it's up. Mess. It's like not a real good advertisement for the game. With, right. Uh, yeah, know, right, right. Right. I mean, it's, it's, it's uh, collateral damage, right? That's what happens, yeah. You know, when you guys, when you when you think of, of how physical you are in the rugby game, right, and how you guys, and technique-wise, how you tackle, how you hit, you know, coming from the NFL, and the NFL, not totally down with all these new rules with protecting players and all that, but... It seems so simple that if they if they played the game a little more like how you guys play your game, there would be less injury in the National Football League. I mean, I mean you got injuries, right? You're going to get hit yeah. in the face. You're yeah. going to your ears are going to get cauliflower yeah. and things like that. But you know, other than that, you know, you, you, you comparatively speaking, you you feel pretty safe without having a helmet. Yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, we're, we're taught from a young age get your head in the right side. So obviously, you you don't get. Um, you know, a concussion and, yeah. and, and looking after you, even though you're playing, you know, a physical game, we, we don't want a season injury or career ending injuries for anyone. Right. So uh, it's important that we hit them in the right area. No diving at knees is outlawed and it's right. just not in the spirit of the game, things like that, yep. uh, which makes it a lot safer. 
Yeah, Probably. I think that our game sort of rolls on. So our technique is to sort of hold the ball and then take something to the ground, slow it down. Mm-hmm. So our techniques are different as because the game keeps rolling on. As in NFL, it sort of stops start. Like you just have to put them on the ground, then and the play's over. Get up, and yeah. those extra so you're not yards laying on them and that kind of stuff. Yeah, we are. We have to. So you we have want to, to right. go up high gotcha. and then wrestle them and sort of hold them down for as long as we can. Okay. So there's sort of a difference in that sort of area. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's just, uh, it, I, I know the Seahawks, uh, Seattle, Pete Carroll has used, you know, the, had rugby players come in and, hey, defense, this is how we're going to tackle. And you watch them, they, they do. Look, I mean, you got this helmet on, you know, and then ESPN shows the highlights of smashing guys in the face and knocking them out, and everyone wants to do it. And at the end of the day, you're just hurting, you're hurting guys. You don't, you don't have, to, you can still be tough without physically taking a guy out of the game, I well, guess is what I'm saying. Well, yeah, that's right. I mean... You know, and because you guys get a rest after each play, it makes the hits even harder mm. because there's good the point. fatigue part of it doesn't come in as much. That's a good point. I didn't think so, of that. Yeah. you know, when they hit it, and the other thing I suppose with your game is is um, every every little yard makes a difference, and they've got right. to stop them on the spot. Whereas in our game, you know, if we give it a, cu- a you know half a meter or a couple of feet. Okay. doesn't really matter that much. Oh, okay. Although we are trying to stop their momentum. Right. It's not doesn't mean that they're going to get another set of plays. Right, because you're four downs. You're either punting or scoring, right? Yeah, we, it's we not six. first down, first down like yeah, the NFL, right? right? It's you got four matter. shots. Yeah, it doesn't matter how many yards score, you make. Right. Right. You've got to punt after right. six. So. All right, so yeah. you want to know you beat Tampa so far, right? You've One got a, yeah. uh, a big game this weekend. And yep. uh, just what, what, are we, what are we looking forward to? What can the fans look forward to for the Axemen this year? So well, we've got our first home game coming up on the 30th at okay. uh, UNF. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to get a good crowd there and uh, get a, create a good atmosphere and so yeah. they can come and watch these boys play and see plenty of contact yeah, and uh, games. plenty of aggression and, and a good yep. win. How, uh, how fast is the team? How fast, fast is this team? I mean, you got to be fast to play this game. Right? I mean, you got big guys, but you got. I mean, you got to be pretty fast to run the the, the hooker you, position, right? Yeah, or, or I'm hooker. Not really not fast. Bad. Yeah, <laughs> big guys. Are fast. I don't, yeah, I don't know how fast I've got away with it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I got to imagine you got to be tough. You got to <laughs> yeah. be big. You yeah. got to be physical. You got to yeah. be fast. Well, we got some real fast guys. We got yeah. a couple of real fast guys out wide where we need yeah, them. And, um, and when they get the ball, yeah, no one's got to them. Good, good. Well, good luck, man. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of, you know, the action has been around a long time. I've known yeah. when Spinner started it, I was right there with him and watched him do it. And, sure. and it's still going, and you're a big part of the city, man. I know, look, uh, there's a lot of sporting events here in town, but people still love going to the Jacksonville Axman. So uh, good on you, mates. Not bad. <laughs> good, yeah. Not bad. Learn that from Spinner. <laughs> not bad. Right? Not too bad. Not too bad. And uh, good luck this year, man. Thanks so much. Fellas, awesome. good luck. All right? Thanks, Thanks so mate. much. All right, that'll do it with uh, me. And the crew from the Jacksonville Axemen, a great game. Check them out on June the 30th if, if you can and see them play uh, their first home game right at UNF Stadium. That'll do it for us here on Up Close and Personal on uh, the Horse's Mouth on CW17.